Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. This is going to be another love reading. So let's get into it. All right. First, we're going to call in divine. Please give me clear and concise and precise messages on our love life. Tell us what's going on. Clear up any confusion. Please let me channel any questions that the collective may have about their love life and what's going on in the energy field here. Right off the bat, I'm feeling like a lot of you guys have dealt with so many crazy people. You're wondering if it's just you. You're like, is everybody I come across going to test me? Is like, is this normal? Like that I have to play these unspoken psychological games with people? Like, why can't they just respect me and my boundaries from the door? Why does people have to make sure that I'm strong or firm in my boundaries? Why do they not just respect people from the beginning? Why do they need to test to see if I would stand up for myself? Why can't people just be good people from the door? And I feel like some of these people are also questioning themselves too here. Like, why would I want to do this to this person? Why would I put them through these, I don't know, somebody could have tried to disrespect the boundary that you verbally set. You could have told this person, I don't like when you playfully tell me to shut up. I don't like that. And they're like, hmm, what are you going to do about it? It's what they thought in their head. So they might have went ahead and tried to tell you to do it again. Like, huh, shut up you know, in a certain way and see like, what is this person going to do? Are they going to get angry? And then I feel like a lot of you simply cut this person off. And then this is another thing about people who make up rules and challenge people in their mind. They don't get to choose how you respond because some people want to like, okay, if they respond in a perfectly monotone, then, you know, maybe I won't respect them. If they respond too calmly, I'm not going to respect them. If they get too angry, then I'm not going to respect them. They got to come at me just the right way. And, you know, and then it's like, that's the true narcissist here. You don't get to make up psychological games in your head and have people play along with it. They're like, you know, how strong is this person with their boundaries? Even down to some of you guys, some people here, they could have triggered people and they could have caused people to get physical playing these games. And you didn't have to hit me. You didn't have to play with somebody's mind. When you play with people's mind, you don't get to decide how that person responds, you know? And this is another thing too. And then it's like, who are they? They're not God here. Somebody is coming to that realization just based off of you bringing light to that situation, not just you, but I feel like a lot of other people trying to, I don't know, figure you out, they end up trying to at people who try to figure you out end up figuring out a lot more about themselves, especially when it comes to this game of love hair. A lot of you guys are just wanting to be, when you like somebody, you just want it to be calm. You just want it to be mutual. You know, maybe you guys are okay with a little bit of teasing back and forth, like, you know, for fun, but you usually, you lead in that. It's like somebody here is, they're fighting their feelings for you. It's like <laughs> they want to come in, but they also, I don't know. It's like, you know, it's like this person is dealing with some narcissism and, and whatnot. I feel like, what cards do I want to get? Because I'm also feeling some good energy here. I'm feeling some tantric energy. I'm feeling some tantric energy coming in. Maybe I'll pull some. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I've been really loving this love oracle here. But I also want some of my deck. I don't know. I don't know. I'll pull some love deck hair. Love tarot. It's been giving me what I need lately. 
I wonder how many de decks I have by now. Spirit, please tell me more. What else is going on in this collect? Oh, they're ready to talk already. You're so smart. And your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart, and I really enjoy our conversations here. Somebody misses the conversations that they used to have with you. Somebody here misses the fact that they didn't get a chance to have a conversation with you. Maybe this person tried to shut you down, or maybe, I don't know, they felt like you were too eager to talk or you were too geeky. It was something here that within this person that made them disrespect you, but now they're starting to respect you now that you don't care to express yourself to this person. This person has been looking into you a lot. I feel like some of you guys got a group of different, maybe people of the opposite gender checking you out and checking out your pages, especially if you do anything like talking, terror, tweeting, maybe some quotes you put up, just the way you express yourself here. You got a lot of people really respecting your mind and your intellect and realizing you have way more layers to you than they initially thought. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are giving off this more intelligent energy that, or you've been studying a lot. Maybe you guys been watching the right type of dating advice. You know, just you know, just like I don't know. There's good and bad advice out there. <laughs> Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. We got unblock me. I miss you and I want to connect. Please unblock me, literally or energetically. So we can speak. I have a lot to say. Somebody wanted you to play those games with them. This person felt like they were giving you chances to earn their respect here. Some people, somebody here wanted you to stand 10 toes down on your consequences. They wanted you to, I don't know, even deny them uh, sex, but still hang around them. Maybe this person felt like you gave into their sexual wants or something. So then it made them lose respect. And, you know, it's like this person kind of wanted you to dominate them. I feel like a lot of you guys are going into a more dominant position because people are just calling for you to set stronger boundaries and stick to the consequences of them. But at the same time, you don't want anybody around that you got to be on guard with. And this person is like, dang, I understand that. Please, like, you know, this person is begging for you to want them back around. This person can't believe you really don't want them. This person could have pushed you way too far. This could also be someone that maybe you're just in no contact mode with. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. This feels tingly. This card, so I'm gonna pull it. Oh, okay, we got obsessed here. I wonder if it feels tingly. That's kind of a very overused word here. I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. Stalk your socials and hope I run into you when I'm out. Somebody checks everything that you post. This is more than one person here. Some of you guys got this siren energy to you. It's like some of you guys are real like, oh my goodness, it's killer mode. You're not playing with these niggas. You're not playing with these hoes. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, you know, you entered that dark feminine, no more. Um, Yeah, like proud West hair that got people hooked. It's like, dang just like that like i'm cut because you already you knowing that this person don't have anything to offer you and you're like mm, next so this is what got people really obsessed with you because they also just can't figure out a way to gain entry with you uh, some of you guys, this is also a new lover here that is filling you really a lot, but they don't want to allow themselves those full fillings here. So you got some blocked lovers here, some of you guys. Spirit, please. I like how the energy is different every night. I know, like, because once, like, as it grows, like, my 
subscribers and stuff it's like it's going to be a different pool of energy like it's such a different pool of people people here older younger black white and different heterosexual uh <laughs> some asexual celibate gay whatever <laughs> oh crap yeah, we got playing games pop right out. This is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding, or posting is to get your attention. Yeah, somebody is really trying to get your attention here. Somebody could regret trying to get your attention in a negative way. Somebody from online might be trying to fly out to your area. You might get a, a, hey, I'm in your area type of text or message from this person. And, and it's like, what do you want me to do? Like, if it's not an official date, I wouldn't respond to it. It's just like, all right. Like, you know, <laughs> but there's people who are trying to get your attention in the minuscule ways, some, but you're throwing people out. Like, you know, because if they're not going you know, you're not explaining what you want to people. <laughs> Somebody wants to get your attention with just liking you, liking your pictures or just like, I don't know. They, they want you to come after them, a lot of people. And that's just a fantasy. A lot of you guys want somebody that's not only going to pursue you, you want somebody that's going to pursue you in the right way. And if that's not that person here, then you know you don't want them. And then not only that, you guys are setting conditions on which you like someone. Some of you guys just like people for no reason. I'm hearing that Tina Turner song. That's why that always pop in my head. What's love got to do with it? You know, what, when he, she's like, ah, you, what is this? Something about you must uh, understand that the touch of your hand makes my pulse react. Oh, it's physical biological you removed your liking for someone from your biological or organs and put it into your mind you're like with the i'm smart hair you're like okay you you it has to be a reason for a purse for you to like people you like people who what take you out on dates you like people who don't play any games with you or maybe some of you guys do like little games i'm feeling that here you <laughs> you like but it's up to you to set what you like you like a person who i don't know spends money on you you like a person that doesn't love bomb you you like a person who is honest with you and not just honest with you you know, honest with you about certain things. So this person could just be like, okay, well, I just want to have sex. That's being honest with you. I thought you like people was honest. Oh, you're lying, but you're realizing that you're not even giving your like energy away. You got to hit these certain points for me to like you. I don't just like people for no reason. I can tell you somebody who likes you for some of you guys is way older than you now, you know, this person's older than you. There's people who definitely want a chance with you. Uh, somebody is hurt. Somebody could be way shorter than you. <laughs> oh, goodness. That likes you. I'm sorry about those if those aren't your usual types. But I feel like some of you guys don't care. It's about how these people come at you. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. You're mine. I get so pissed knowing other people can have you. Um, is it toxic? Yeah, I don't care. I want the world to know your mind. Somebody is now ready to make a commitment towards you. Why? Because it's coming out under your smart. This person is falling in love with your mind and the way you think every day. This person feels like they don't meet too many people who have the same mindset as you. They feel like a lot of people they meet are real airheaded, real like, I don't know, go along with the crowd like you they see you as the brain brain hair you know i'm saying pinky in the brain i got elmira tatted like she used to appear on pinky in the brain that's that i want to hug you and kiss you and squeeze you now sit down 
some of you guys might like the Animaniacs. <laughs> Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Loss. I feel lost without you. This is that unblock me energy. Somebody feels lost without you. Somebody noticed that you leveled up and they see you as more of a challenge now. Like somebody felt like it was a poker game playing with you. Now this person wants to, they want to replay this game with you again. They want to, but they feel like they lost their chance. They're like, dang, did I really lose my chance? Like, how do I get this person's attention? Some of this has been going on for years. This person is obsessed with you, in love with you. Somebody definitely wants to, like, I don't know. Like, they, they're they trying to retake over your energy. Some of these people might be throwing magic towards you. If you notice a bunch of strange things happening towards you, like, in synchronicity, I feel like it'll come back to back. I know whenever somebody throws like a magic at me, I know what they're trying to do because it'll happen in like threes within one day. Like might break my nail, then I might get a, a messed up order, and then I might have somebody weird following me or something. Then I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, oh, okay, return to sender 1,000 fold. Spirit, please come in and protect me. Boom, boom, boom. And then I can get a download on who is sending this sort of um, negative energy towards me. My fantasy. You're my favorite. You're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and use them for inspiration. I want you. Some of you guys might have weird people trying to take pictures of you. You could have experienced that recently. Somebody trying to follow you, take pictures of you. Some people here like you, like your body, like your curves. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. Some of you guys got it. And this is the under obsessed thing. Obsessed fantasy. A lot of people, you're their fantasy here. Like, you know, and it's weird because you would think people, people want you as a fantasy. Some people can't energetically afford you. And a lot of people want to know if they actually have to respect you to have your body. Because if they don't have to, then they won't. But a lot of people here definitely know you're smart and you're not going for any BS. Like, you know, a lot of people can't read you. A lot of you guys only want people who are going. And if you're hot and you could have people simping for you, there is no sense in wasting all of that hotness on somebody that's going to play games with you or try to manipulate you or put you down. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. You feel like home. Being with you reminds me of simpler times. Bring me, you bring me so much happiness and peace here. I feel like this is your energy in general. Wherever you're at, a lot of people feel like they're at home with you. A lot of people, you give them mom energy. You give them very much mother energy here. Some of you guys, because you're divine feminine and a divine feminine energy could feel like a good mother. Like, like, like you were the mother that a lot of people should have had, whether you're younger, you're older, whatever. You give off that energy. You give off, you should give off mom, wife, grandmother, even type of energy when you're like divine feminine, even librarian, like, you know, as some of that dark energy you give off principle you give off like i don't know <laughs> dominatrix because <laughs> you know divine feminine and dark feminine i would say is you know two different things even though they both have bf bf dark feminine divine feminine here i guess there is divine dark feminine all right spirit please tell me more spirit please tell me more Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. 
not the right time. I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have time or energy for a relationship. Yeah, somebody might be trying to give you that excuse that they don't have time for a relationship. And then that is just them trying to tell you that they are in love with your body. They might think you're cool and you have a great mind here. And that's all right. I feel like a lot of you guys are learning not to be offended by that. I feel like this before you could have been like, oh, everybody just wants to sleep with me and realize what a great person I am and blah, 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 blah. Somebody also might be regretting not wanting to have a relationship with you. But, you know, some people here, they will change their mind when they realize you're only going for people who want a relationship. You're like, you know, and somebody might tell you they want a relationship. And then after they bet you, they might be like, well, I want a relationship, but just not with you. I'm looking for someone that can be blah, blah, blah. So be careful here, you know, take your time. And, you know, also you too, I feel like that's your energy here because people can't play off of you just wanting a relationship. You want the right relationship too. You don't just want a relationship. But a lot of people are definitely wondering how they can get in with you. Like, you know, I'm hearing like by any means necessary. So you got some, <laughs> some people here feeling like Malcolm X. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. Yeah, somebody is afraid to truly open up. They feel like they opened up before and it's left them hurt in the past. So now, you know, they don't want to open up to you. They are, oh goodness. And I feel like some of this energy could be you guys. Maybe you don't want to open up to someone because they feel like, I don't know, you feel like they're not, or, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> some of you guys are being careful when it comes to open up, opening up to with people. Here. Being alone is way better than being miserable. Okay, yeah, we got being alone is way better than being miserable here. So I'll take that out because I read it. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you are <laughs> way better off alone than being miserable. Somebody feels personally offended by that. Somebody wants you to fear being alone. Like somebody wants you to feel like you need a man's protection with you. So that way you can have that sort of desperation that makes you want to chase behind a man. And then it makes men devalue you and it turns you, they want to turn you into something that's just not good. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Look at you doing way better and all out of your feelings. Your edges came back and your ass is getting a little bigger. Oh, you can do better. <laughs> look at you doing. Thought you couldn't live without him. Now look at you flipping. That's uh, not little Donald. You don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. Um, yeah, so a lot of people are looking at you doing better. You're all out of your feelings and you learned that lesson that being alone is way better than being in a relationship that you're miserable and you don't even want to play games with people here. Somebody wanted to play that game with you and then they're realizing, dang, that's not going to work. This person's so smart that they made me change my way of thinking here. Like, why do I test people? This person is definitely <laughs> wondering that. Spirit, please tell me more. It's just not the same anymore. I'm bored now. It's just not the same anymore. I'm bored now. Somebody feels really bored in their hometown or in the relationship that they're in. They feel like things aren't the same anymore. Somebody could also be bored in a relationship 
All these songs remind me of you. You got people here feeling like they're in love with you or maybe a person here that's feeling like they're in love with you, but it's still this underlying need of trying to test you to see if you're truly the one here, you know, and it's up to you if you want to go through these tests to see, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of people that test people don't even know what their outcome is. They don't need people who test people. I realize don't even know who they are or what they want. What they want is whatever, <laughs> you know? Like they don't like, it's like, what do you want? What do you hope to get from testing this person? Because I'm like, you're just trying, you don't know who you are. You're figuring out how who you have to be in this relationship and you could be any way. A person who tests you usually got to stay on top of them this whole time. They don't know what they want. They don't know who they are. I realize that. And, you know, you got to make up your mind. I mean, if you having fun for this moment, but I would say don't put all your eggs in one basket, not even three baskets here. Keep bathing until you find that person you want. You know, if you have the energy to, and you, like I said, you do not have to sleep with people you date. You don't have to kiss them. You don't have to feel pressured like sex is an outcome here you're trying to get to know people and see what they about before they even get near you if anybody is trying to rush you pressure you don't deal with that person <laughs> just if, because some people want it quick fast and in a hurry not worth dealing with yeah somebody could also regret just wanting x with you like they feel like they should have took their time somebody might be shaming this person like they're like this you know the collective is a cool person spirit please tell me more spirit please tell me more but a lot of you guys you're you're smarter now you're different a lot of you guys went through some sort of awakening here as far as your heart and your sacral chakra I know you don't want me and I don't have anything to offer you. I'm not even a good person, but please give me a chance. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Just somebody wants you to give them a chance for absolutely no reason here. They, they, they're like, no, I can't take you out on a date. No, I don't want to love you. No, I don't want to be your friend or get to know you. But hey, can can I just say hi? Can't we just talk? Can I get to know you for no reason at all? Like, you know, type of energy. This person really needs to work on themselves. I, I don't know. They're not, you know, worth entertaining. You can find people who are, who do have something to offer you. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Or this person might be afraid of being used. I know that he knows I'm unfaithful and it kills him inside to know that I am happy with some other guy. Oh, yes. Somebody could be being unfaithful. This might be some of you guys. Some of you guys might be feeling like you're cheating, even though you're not cheating. Just because, I don't know, you like a person here, but you know, you like a person here and nothing might be coming of it. You're not cheating just for it's trying to find better. You could be afraid that this person might, I don't know, slut shame you or I don't know, like think you're trying to make them jealous or something here. Some of this is this person could have another person and you still feel like I don't know. You wanted to show some sort of dedication to this masculine energy here. Like, you know, some of you guys are engaging in emotional masturbation with someone that you don't really need to be engaging with. Spirit, please tell me more. Come and test me. I never cower. Yeah, okay. A lot of you guys are passing these tests with flying colors, even though you hate them, even though you hate when people test you, you don't want to go through this. And then not only that, some of you guys are fierce. You're fierce woman out here. You're not just a regular woman or regular man, because, you know, the masculines be crying. Oh, what about men? I'm like, you guys are real lucky. We even made room for you in this kitchen here. You know? <laughs> 
men are in the terror readings too. I'm like, you're lucky because you know what women got to go through when we're entering an all male area and we're like, okay, you know, I'll change the genders, put it how it fits. I know, you know, <laughs> and, and all people have masculine and feminine energy. I get down. This is our kitchen. Be happy you're here. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit please. <laughs> um, um, let's see. What other cards did I wanted to pull? I don't know. I'll probably pull on those for like a couple of shorts. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more here. Frustrating them so they initiate the breakup. Okay, yeah, we got that energy before. Somebody could have been as purposely trying to frustrate their partner because they're like, I don't want to be with this B anymore. I don't want to blah, 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 blah. But they're a coward coming out under that coward energy here because they could just break up with this person. But this person fears this is the type of person that could be lying to themselves. So women don't know how to take rejection you know it's, I don't want to hurt her so I'm going to hurt her even more to avoid hurting her like these people are idiots it's like no you it's not that that person can't take rejection you don't know how to <laughs> reject someone you know it's like you know or you don't want to you you want to drag it out to see how much this person would take. Like anybody who feels like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that energy. <laughs> it could really hurt that person's ego. Like, you know, like <laughs> women have more, fra I'm like, they do not have more fragile egos. This person just needs to let this person know, you know, or what, you're afraid they might cry. We got to deal with people that might, end our lives but we still reject them like <laughs> spirit please tell me more spirit please tell me more yeah we got elusive here somebody is feeling like you're very elusive you're very you know i don't know like huh or somebody could be could have been trying to be elusive with you so that you would want and crave them more but instead it kind of made you pull away this person is thinking about you a lot. This person is wondering if you're doing some sort of spell or magic on them. This person, I don't know. They like the sound of your voice. I can hear that coming out. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Part of me wants to mix these cards with my um my little 80 plus cards. Excuse me. We got exotic baddie here. Somebody feels like you're very exotic. Some of you guys can have like otherworldly looking features here or just by the way you walk, the way you talk. They definitely feel like you're not, you're not the same as all these other people mentally or physically. They're like, yo, you're exotic. You know, you're hot, you're exotic. You're, you are who you say you are. And this person respects that. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Girl, let me love you before you learn and or until you learn to love yourself. Girl, let me love you and all your troubles. Yeah, somebody here feel, wants you to know that you don't have to be perfect to be loved. This person is willing to love you. Somebody here might be wanting to be your sugar daddy. I don't know. Like, this is this is strange energy I'm getting here. This, do you guys got, like, somebody here that could be older or younger, but they, I don't know. They're not ready for a relationship or a commitment, so they're wondering if they could buy you things in exchange for some of that loving Trying to fix your inner issues with a bad B. Didn't they tell you that I was a savage? F your white horse and your carriage. Yeah, okay. Somebody, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, F your white horse and your carriage. You know, didn't they tell you that I was a savage? That's what's coming up here. Hmm. Yeah, somebody tried to fix their inner issues with a bad B. I feel like this is it. Maybe I, hmm, I'll end with some letter tiles. Why not? Okay. Get some letter tiles here. Take this off my finger. Okay. 
I'm seeing DNA come out. That's like the first thing that popped out. Somebody wants a DNA test. They might be telling this person that they might be married to or the person that they're dating that they don't think their kid is theirs. They want a DNA test. They want somebody here that, um, what should we call it? We got SA coming out here and that's, uh, uh, God bless you if you've been through that. Somebody could be, or this is looks like it's spelling sand. Okay, somebody sane. Okay, it went from okay. Somebody here might be sane. You or you're wondering if there's any sane people left here. Somebody's name might be sane here. We got pie coming out here. Somebody might be smart. I don't know. <laughs> they might know the definition of pie. We got tent here. Tent. And somebody might want to make, I don't know, a tent. They might want to camp out at the beach with you. We got entertainment coming out, ENT here. Somebody might be in the entertainment business. We got um, hmm, ant. I don't know. Somebody might be wanting a picnic, but they're afraid of ants. Uh, I'm seeing the word lame, lame here. We got net. Somebody might be playing basketball, might be a fisherman. Huh, somebody here might like the pies you made or feel like you made a good pie. I see the words Danielle being spelled out. I see Bible. Somebody here might have been reading the Bible when it comes to love, or they might have a tattoo of what is that part of the Bible? I want to say Corinthians. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's popping in my head. You know what I mean? There's a part of the Bible that is about love specifically here. We got trail. Somebody could want to take a trail one with you. We got nail here. Somebody might want uh, like your nails or you will, or I don't know, want to pay for you to get your nails did. Um, Somebody here is trying to read into you. They want to figure out what type of girl you are. How do they treat you? Somebody, oh, we got V here, V, vet. Somebody here can have animals. Um, they want to know if you're attracted to, not attracted to, if you like animals. We got Lily coming out here. We got Lily and Illy. I love you. Somebody feels like they love you. Somebody here could, a lot of people could be telling you that they love you really early on. We got, um, yeah, Nan Eat and N. Huh. Nerd. Somebody here could be, I don't know, nerd, geeky. We got into anime. We got eight, somebody here, I don't know, could like to eat, want to take you out to eat. We got Tevin, somebody's name could be Tevin, somebody's name could be Eric, somebody's name could be uh, Naira or Naya. Yeah, I'm seeing Naya here. I'm seeing Anthony, somebody named with ant hair could be Anthony. Somebody's name could be Aaron. Um, somebody name can be. Hmm. I'm not saying a lot of names here. Usually when it's a lot. Nell or Ned. We got, yeah, or Nelly. <laughs> Somebody's name might begin with uh, like that. Let me pull these here so you guys can see it. So you could play your own little spiritual, what should we call it? Rave. Somebody might like going to rave here. Maybe like bright lights, rave, some sort of entertainment like that. Uh, we got zip here. Somebody might um, smoke and they might want to offer you a zip or maybe you got a zip from this person. It's be a weed man that wants you. I don't know. <laughs> we, got, we got earn here. Somebody feels like uh, you might be wanting to make someone earn your attention or earn your affection here. Um, hmm, yeah, San, Saner, Sane. Some of you guys are just trying to keep your sanity. Um, Nate might be here. Naya is here. Um, we got Pale P, I don't know, Pain. Somebody here might think that you like pain. Maybe you got piercings. People love saying that to people with piercings. Maybe you like pain. 
Um, but that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Hope you have a good day, night, evening, whenever you're catching this reading. And I will talk to you next time.